Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA-18C and we're looking at using the AIM-120 AMRAMS. This is a medium range missile. It's what we call a FOX-3 type of missile, an active radar guided missile in that it has its own radar on board. The way it works is we fire it from our mothership, we support it for a certain amount of its flight with our own radar. At a certain pre-designated point, it will change to its own radar to track the target. At that point, it's known as going pitbull or active. It will sever its link with us and guide its own way to the target. Once it's gone active, we can then turn away because the missile is then fully fire and forget. We can have them on pylons 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8. And on two, three, seven, and eight, we can have twin mounts. So we went air to air two times AIM-120Bs or AIM-120Cs or the single B or C. AIM-120B has larger fins, more maneuverability. The C has smaller fins, less maneuverability, but more range. We're just going to go with six C models. The maximum range on these missiles is anywhere between four and 50 miles, depending on the aspect, speed, and altitude of our aircraft and that of the hostile aircraft. It's a medium range missile. There are three different methods of firing this missile. One is without a radar lock. One is with an STT, a single target track, which can come from a range while search or a track while scan mode or a track while scan designation. First, we'll look at the visual mode. So, arm, air to air. Look at the controls today. To select the missile, we have that. To fire the missile, we have that. Along with any other commands, we'll need to use the radar. So select the missile. In our SMS page first here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six AMRAM Cs. We can step through them by pressing the select missile again. We can see that my master arm is on. We can choose the radar cross section to be prioritized by the missile as a target of small, medium or large. And we can choose the suspected size of the target, small, medium and large. This will help control the seeking of the missile on its terminal phase. S mode is not implemented, at least at the moment. For non-radar guided mode, we do not need our radar. And to prove it, we will turn our radar off. Once we've selected the missile, we've got our circle here. This is the limit circle of the seeker of our missile. All we have to do is place the hostile that is within 10 miles of us within this circle, pull the trigger, and the missile will go active immediately and seek its own target. It will seek the first target that is fine. It will not IFF. So be careful and ensure that there is not a friendly within this zone. We can see we have the AMRAM C version. We have six of them and we are in visual mode simple as that let's go and find a bad guy within 10 miles okay so i can see some targets off my nose all i'm going to do is put that guy in the circle and pull the trigger note when i pull the trigger we get a straight line timer here that is a time in seconds when it gets to zero is when we have or the missile has reached its non-maneuvering aerodynamic limit and i'll put another one out in a second put another one out there's another guy there we might be able to hit well let's see no it's completely the wrong guy let's try again that might work. Yep, it's going to work. Okay, all good, very simple. Now let's go to the STT method. Got some targets about 20 miles off the nose. Select our weapon, make sure everything's set up. So what we need to do is to get a single target track. And we can do that however we want. We're just going to do it super simple here by ensuring that this screen, the attack radar, has our TDC assigned and it does there. We're now going to press SCS right. It's automatic going to lock the closest guy up or the first guy it finds in a single target track. And now we need to look at the symbology. Attack radar. Things we're interested in regarding the missile is that this target here is now LNS, launch and steering. So that's the target there. That is angels. That's his speed. That's our max, the max effective range of my missile. That's our no escape or our lethal. That is the max effective range of my missile, assuming that he is going to take evasive action. And that's our minimum, the minimum range of the missile. That is the ASE circle, the allowable steering error circle. The name of the game is to maneuver our aircraft. So the steering dot here is within inside the circle and as close to the center as possible to give the most efficient shot as possible to fire the shot we're going to have to let him get within our max here and we've got pretty much the same information up here but displayed differently he is here this box around him here is our target designated box that is our steering dot that is our ase circle that is our range 16.0 miles that is our closing velocity 900 knots we've currently got a radar lock here we have a range also in the format of this inner winding tick 
and line. It's wound about halfway in at the moment. And there is our max, there is our lethal, and there is our minimum. So what we want to do is wait until our tick here gets within our max. Once it does, we will be given a shoot sign because we can shoot as long as our steering dot is within the ASC circle. Once this range is within our lethal, and we have the steering dot in the circle, we will have the shoot sign, but it will be flashing. When we've got the shoot sign, we pull the trigger and fire the weapon. This arrow here is showing the relative target aspect to our own motion of travel. That means he's coming hot towards us, cold away from us, flanking left, flanking right. And down in our SMS page, we've got extra information here regarding target if you so wanted it. So now we need to get the dot in the thing and prepare to fire. So we've now got the shoot sign because we're with our max. We now have nine ATC. That means once we pull the trigger and fire the weapon, there will be nine seconds that elapse until the missile goes active or pitbull. At that point, we'll get extra information. So I'm gonna fire now, missile away. As well as that, we've got this triangle. This triangle here is representing the progress of the missile's travel to the target. That's us there. That's where the missile is along its journey so far. That's where the target is. The missile has now gone active. It's severed, it's linked with us. This means two things. One, we can turn away and run. We no longer need to support the missile. Two, we've got a TTG, time to go. It means we've now got 11 seconds, assuming that that hostile does not evade till that missile is gonna hit. And like I said, we could just do a 180 and now turn around. That's the whole idea of using a Fox 3 type missile is that I don't have to support it. And we've got a hit. Bang on time. So that showed the STT method. Now we're just going to show the method that is going to allow us to fire multiple targets in a ripple through designated support via trackball scan. Okay, we're back in again. Select missile. It's going to be very similar to what we just saw, but with some subtle differences. We're going over to TWS, and there are different ways, as you know, to target within TWS, to designate within TWS. I can do launch and steering cycling to ripple, or I can twin target with launch and steering and a DTC designated target to and bounce between them. But for this, I've got four targets. All I'm going to do is launch and steer, change target, launch and steer, change target, launch and steer, change target, launch and steer, change target. Each time I'm going to be firing a missile and that will allow me to ripple one, two, three, four at all four targets in the formation. The button that I'm going to be using to switch between the targets is actually undesignate. TWS is engaged there. As by standard, the priority target ahead in TWS is already L and S launch and steer. So I've already got my launch and steer ranging and steering equipment already up. There's the range there. Out of interest, I've managed to catch it at this time where we've got our aero here. That little diamond there is our aero, which is the non-maneuvering aerodynamic limit of the missile. We're just gonna do exactly what we did. Let's just get the steering dot in the ASE. Gonna get a little closer, about to hit our max. Fire, undesignate new LNS. Fire, undesignate new LNS. Fire, undesignate new LNS. Fire. And support the missile until the last one goes active. And we should have some sexy results. This is, of course, the beauty of the AMRAM. Ping, hit, ping, hit, ping, hit, ping, hit. So we've shown using the AMRAM in the visual mode, in the STT, and one of the methods of doing a TWS ripple. I hope that was useful and see you later.